Sense Tech Time. I'm going to talk about yesterday's launch event by Xiaomi. It was a much anticipated mobile phone, much eagerly awaited by many of Xiaomi fans. MI Mix 3 was the phone that was launched. I personally own MI Mix 1. It is a stunning device, and I'm recording this video on MI Mix 1 itself. And um, it was probably the best phone till mid of 2017. Um, until iPhone X was launched when the launch era began, but it was a puzzle-less game, MIMX1. MIMX2 and MIMX2S were disappointing, not that great, nothing new, but MIMX3 was expected to be having completely puzzle-less phone. It is a puzzle-less phone, it's got a sliding, you know, interface as well for camera, but there's a not a very thin notch, it's kind of bigger notch than uh, compared to Oppo Find X and even Vivo Nex. I was not expecting that to be even marginally thicker compared to the phones I mentioned. I was expecting to be as thin as them. But I don't know what was Xiaomi thinking that they have lost it on one count that is bezel. Suddenly they have lost it because their predecessors, Vivo Nex and Find X don't have that thicker bezel at the bottom. Now, which is the other drawback? The drawback point too is that they got a fingerprint sensor on the back. They don't have in display fingerprint scanner because you know other phones like Vivo V11 Pro and other phones, Max and everything is carrying this in display fingerprint scanner. I don't know what stopped Xiaomi for doing that. Really surprising they didn't come with that because in this era, in 2018, most of the phones have been launched with in display fingerprint scanner. That's a disappointment point number two by MI Mix 3. Now they got a couple of cameras on the back. They should have added the third camera as well in my opinion because you know all the top end models coming right now, even Honor Magic 2, which is going to be launched in November this year, is going to come with tri-camera, UAV P20 Pro is with tri-camera setup at the back. If all the Chinese manufacturers are providing you tri-camera setup, don't understand why Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 is not with tri-camera setup at the back. This is their drawback point number 3. Now. My expectations have been cut down from this high this much because of three points which I mentioned. This is a very, very fastly developing technological error. Only one plus point is that they got this sliding thingy you know, of camera, which is better than uh, the motorized or Oppo Find X and Vivo X. Um, and they're gonna launch this 10 GB variant with 5G speeds in 2019 they have not launched it yet so probably they have launched 8 GB to this GB variant which other phones are already having it you know there is nothing new 2019 I'm sure a lot of phones will come, with, come up with 5G speeds so Xiaomi hasn't done anything new Xiaomi hasn't you know given us something which is different from other phones which are being provided this year um, on a magic 2 which looks as good as mix 3 I'm not sure about the display size probably if it's in 6 inch size what I know then uh, it loses on the count of 0.4 but I'm sure that it will also be coming via drop in variant with 6.4 inch and that phone looks stunning it's got a thinner bezel what I've seen and, uh, from the photographs that are available on the net, I haven't seen the phone physically, but it looks beautiful on Magic 2 and it's got in display finger sensor or scanner, whatever you say. It also has a tri camera setup at the back and it also has a sliding shutter or camera like an MX3. So, what's the difference? It wins on two comps. One is scanner and the one the third camera which is I think is more important than a scanner. So on magic three on magic two rather I think beats Xiaomi here. At least this year. If it's launched in uh, November, it's gonna be having a 
queuing processor, probably better than the Snapdragon 845 chipset. So the processor also on Automatic 2 is better than Mix 3. One thing that Mix Magic 2 lacks will be in the year 2019 is 8GB memory to 10GB memory. And I don't know about the 5 speed if on a Magic 2 Pro or Plus, whatever they keep on launching phones so randomly these days, um, may come with 5G 6.4 inch. If it is launched alongside uh, the launch of Mix 3 top end variant of 10GB 5G variant, then I'm imagining 2 is got to be the best one. Better than Mix 3, in my opinion. With the specs and everything. I don't think so. There won't be price difference much. Maybe somewhere around 3,000, 4,000 Indian rupees or 50 to 100 USD. But that phone got thinner bezels. Spy camera setup and also a display fingerprint scanner. For me personally, that phone is got to be better on a Magic 2 if it's launched in the same display size uh, with the additional features that I talked about. But for now, Mimic 3 looks good, but it's not the best. Looks really good. Look, it's it's probably better than uh, I would say Poco Point X and Vivo Max but it's gonna be taken over. So have a good day. That's my opinions. You can share your comments and your opinions as well. You can do that. Cheers. Bye.